Welcome to Milwaukee. The Raptors getting set to take on the Milwaukee Bucks on their 14th set of back-to-backs. Raptors 8 and 6 on the first night, 6 and 7, result pending on the second night. And Sherm, they did a great job as we look back in the win over Washington. Really turned the tables in some of those numbers. When you think about their field goal percentage over 50 and then holding the Wizards under 40, John Wall got going early, but for the most part, they kept him under control. That's a big win for Toronto, a big bounce back. Yeah, it's a huge win defensively. To your point, they did a great job taking a stand consistently throughout the game and not allowing Washington to get their offense going outside of John Wall early and then I thought their offense was excellent through that first half. They really set the tone. They kind of floundered in the second half but it was a different kind of game for the Raptors. A game where they got off to a good start and then they held on to win the game as opposed to getting off to a slow start and chasing teams down. But I thought it was a great team win. Yes. The bench played extremely well. Norm Powell with a season tying a season high. 21 points and I just thought that overall we saw a Raptor team that bounced back that stepped up to the challenge and provided a lot of assistance for DeMar DeRozan in a scoring capacity and it's something that they're going to have to do continually without Kyle Lowry in the lineup. Well they did a great job holding uh, Washington under 40 percent. The Raptors now 23 and 0 over the last two seasons 7 and 0 this year when opponents shoot under 40 percent and they'd love to have that again in this upcoming game against the Milwaukee Bucks. We're talking about a long athletic team that really did a number on the L.A. Clippers. And they're fighting for a playoff spot, Sherm. They are going to be tough to handle in their own gym. Well, they are, and the Raptors know that because this team, they try to prey on your turnovers and get into the open floor. But the Raptors, if they can keep them in the half court, force them to play five-on-five -five basketball, they're going to have a better chance at winning this game. And again, the second night of a back-to-back, -back, you need a collective collective team approach to get the W because Milwaukee they're going to try and outrun the Raptors and get them tired and fatigued very quickly. All right so you can see that game 8 o'clock Eastern on Sportsnet 1 and hear it on TSN 1050 at the same time.